Hello YouTube, so now we've got another Postnet parcel received, so let's get inside and take a look what we've got today on the Knife and Tool Nerd channel. So, that's wrapped up quite tight. Let's check this one out and see what we've got inside here. So, slashing quite aggressively as usual the bubble wrap. We've got some newspaper around it. Aha! I know exactly what this is. This is the karambit. So this specific karambit is the United Cutlery. Um, the exact model of, I'm not too sure. But uh, yeah, let's let's um, get into the review of this guy this really cool leather sheath uh, this is nice actually i like that and with that easy clip and extremely extremely comfortable so let's jump straight into the review hey youtube so yeah we have the knife out in good light etc um this is a united cutlery they the name on this knife is a united united cutlery honshu so in South Africa, this knife can be purchased from um, ShopRedge. Um, I believe they have stock of it. Um, it comes with a leather, quite a stiff leather sheath, but genuine leather sheath uh, with a belt clip. So it's more of a, 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 I wouldn't say a belt clip, it's actually a boot clip. So this is more of a boot carry sheath, but it can be carried. And I have a way where I carry this appendix where I can grab the knife and pull it out from here. So just with a flick like that, and I can get the knife out and engage with uh, anybody who's sort of trying to attack me. So yeah, the sheath is quite nice. Um, it definitely gets the job done. Um, this knife itself, guys, this is not a utility blade. This is purely a self-defense blade. As you can see, a razor sharp uh, stainless steel blade i believe this blade is not 8 cr 13 but 7 cr 13 which is probably a very similar steel 420 hc sort of stuff stainless but yeah they call it the honshu it's um incredibly sharp it has an incredibly aggressive tip on the end over there and it is a large knife to say the least i mean this thing is a beast it does have the section here for striking and of course you can place your thumb there you can place your thumb here so however you want to carry it that is up to you you can also get leverage on it like this for slashing there's multiple ways so karambits are interesting knives for me because you need to a lot of people don't understand how to wield and use a karambit in a self-defense situation and i think that's why they get a bit of a bad vibe they're not a very practical sort of everyday use knife for all sorts of tasks but as a defensive knife this thing is extremely effective um yeah this it's, it's an incredible knife I'm a, i was actually quite surprised on receiving it at how thick the blade stock is uh, on this knife and it's a substantial weight but not too heavy but I mean, still, that knife size is incredible. I mean, if you slash out at somebody with this, you're gonna inflict a hell of a lot of damage. So would it be effective as a fighting slash self-defense knife? 100% guys, this thing will definitely do the job. The blade I've got no issues with. There's a bit of, they could have cleaned it up a little bit better, but look, to get, don't get me wrong, this knife is incredible, it's comfortable. This is rounded out a little bit on the edges, so it's not sharp. This is a bit sharp, so when you're actually doing some of your flailing actions, etc., it can become a bit aggressive. So my only problem with this is when you swing it out, you need to get used to that there because that does catch a little bit. But um, so if you flail it out, you actually have to give it quite a bit of space and then you can swing it back in. So the backward stroke, no problem. The flailing out, if you're not careful, it does take a little bit of a chunk of skin off. So just something to keep in mind when wielding this knife, if you plan on purchasing one of these. But my opinion on this, 
it's a really really cool self-defense knife and it's definitely going to get somebody off your back really quickly guys so yeah not too much to show on this knife just that it is a really cool knife to add to my collection and uh, i'm going to see how i can edc carry this i will give feedback on that guys please hit the subscribe buttons i'm going to be doing reviews of lots of new different knives and lots of new content on survivals knives multi-tools etc and it'll be really cool to get the subscriber base up once i hit 1000 subs i'm going to be doing a knife giveaway um, i haven't decided yet which one but it will be a brand new pocket folder most likely um, so yeah check that out and keep watching for updates uh, to the channel thanks for watching everybody and until next time take care